Hi, I'm Narid Ansari and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create 2D side scroll game in Game Maker. So without any further ado, let's begin. For that, let's just create a new project of Game Maker language. Let's call it Car2D and I will upload all of these codes for you. But you can go along with me because there is not a lot to do. It's too easy to do in Game Maker. Let's just add some sprite to our game. First of all, SPR Car Body let's just import a sprite to it and this is our sprite for a mustang right so next we want a wheels create an sprite call it spr back wheel let's import an sprite for that and again let's just duplicate this change its name to front wheel okay and import a sprite for that of course you can use one of them for both of the wheels right what i want to do i want to just middle center the anchor point for both of these wheels okay because these wheels rotating around its center okay so now we can close this let's just create object for them obj car body important sprite and that's it for obj back wheel set an sprite for it create another object for obj front wheel add an sprite to it and first thing to do we should set a use physics in here for all of those objects that we create okay this is the first step second step you should go to room and in room option let's just minimize this in room pro in room physics in here enable the physics and that's all you need to do here okay now we have all of these objects and we can add it to our room first oh well, it's big right so let's make it a small Add shift to make it small and this is the body of our car right next the back wheel let's again make it small hold shift a little bit small again and uh, let's just disable this snap so we can put it right at the correct position and oh it's cool okay the front wheel as well like let's make it small as well put it at the right so no it's everything is okay right we have the car so the next thing I want to create the ground in here, SPR ground. Let's edit it fast and with this color, create an object for that. OBJ ground, add an sprite to it, over ground, and we should set use physics. But because this ground shouldn't fall down, what we should do, we should go to physics and make it a static. If you don't know about a static dynamic, dynamic or kinematic, there is a playlist in my YouTube channel that I did explain all of them. I did explain a lot of things in it and you can have a lot of option with physics. So for making this a static, we should set the density or weight of our ground to zero. Okay, so it wouldn't fall down. So now that we have this, let's just add this ground in here. Now I wanted this snap, make it bigger. So we have the ground now. Let's just run it to see what will happen. And you can see that the car body is at top of these uh, wheels. Okay, so what is wrong? Let me show you. In the OBG, OBG car body, if you double click on it, go to physics. And in here, go to modify collision shape. Okay, so I did talk a lot about this collision shape. Just watch my playlist that I did talk about this collision shape in details, how you can have complex collision shape in Game Maker. But in this project, because I want to do it fast, I just want to change this point to something like here. And know that we changed the collision shape in here. Let's just run it again to see if it's at the top of our car or not. So you can see that it sits well on our car, okay? So next thing to do, we should uh, connect the wheels to the car body, okay? So this is the next step that we should do. What we should do, just open this OBG back wheel and in here add a create event to it and let's connect it with physics joint i did talk about joints a lot just watch my playlist of physics um, that i did talk about a lot of joints and i will talk about it more in future and uh, what we want in here is wheel joint okay so physics joint will create okay for the first input we should put the id of the object that we want to connect to another object so in this case because i want to connect this obg back wheel to the car body so i should say id because we want an id of this obg back wheel okay for the second input i want to say obj car body because we want to connect this back wheel to the car body okay so where do where do we want to connect it anchor x and anchor y i want to connect it to x and y of our wheels 
in, in the center of that wheel that we set the anchor point to okay uh, next is axis for the x i want to put zero and for the y i want to put one because we want to connect it this way okay so the y should be one and enable motor next input is enable motor so we want a motor in it right so uh, put true in here for the maximum motor torque i want to put value like this 15 50 000, okay so we want to have a lot of torque motor speed at the initialization i want to be zero and we will change that next is frequency hit the middlemost on this function we can see it in documentation in here so if we go down for the frequency this is the the oscillation frequency for the joint in hertz okay so don't worry about that just put a value like 15 in here like they did in the example that they did here so damping ratio like in documentation just put six in here we can uh, play around with it and for the colliding senses i want to say false because i don't want to collide with it okay so no we create that joint okay we want this for both of the wheels so let's just copy it and open the obg front wheel add a create event to this as well and paste that it should work right and everything is connected but hope we can set the sp to our wheel so our wheel should rotate when we hit arrow key in keyboard or hit the button or whatever so for that let's just add an event in here for the key down on the right what we should do we should say physics we want to set some parameters like torque like a speed for our back wheel right so we should say physics joint set value uh, for the first input we should put joint so what we should do we should go to this physics joint wheel create that we create and give it a variable like back wheel okay so know that we have this joint we can copy it and paste it in here because we want to change that okay let's just save it and in here we want to change the torque of our uh, back wheel okay so we should say phi joint motor torque so we want to change the torque right i want to put five in here and what you can play with it to see what effect it has on your game next thing that i want to change in this right key down so whenever they hit the right arrow key i want to change the uh, motor and speed so let's just copy and paste to here copy this here to here and what i want to change now is motor speed and what the speed that i want to put in here like minus Four. the negative value make it go forward and positive value make it go backward okay so we have this let's just copy and paste both of this line save it and add a key down left event in here paste it in here and what i want to change is this minus i want to i want it to be positive because when i when they hold left arrow key they should go to the left okay so know that we have this let's just run it to see if we have any problem at all if we go right you can see that it's not working right so what is the problem let's just open up this back wheel again go to physics and modify collision shape and the problem is the collision shape is this box we don't want that so it should be circle right okay so no it should work let's just do that for front wheel as well go to physics modify collision shape and in here go to make it circle and everything it should work now right so let's just run it and everything is working but our car is not moving so there is another problem what is the problem is that we didn't change the friction if you don't know about friction restitution density collision group and all of that just watch my playlist about physics in game maker so we should change the friction of this back wheel to something like 20 or 40 or whatever just play with it right so let's just run it to see if the problem is fixed or not and you can see that it's working fine and the friction is okay so the front wheel is not rotating so what we should do we should just add these two events that we have here key down and key key down right key down left to our front wheel as well so copy these two and paste it in here so this is for key right we can't copy both of them at the same time so left paste it here so now that we have this we should go here and um get the 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 joint that uh, we create in uh, obg front wheel creation in here and i want to call it front wheel 
and let's just copy this and in here we want to change it change the front wheel okay and now let's just run it and everything is now working right we can go back we can go forward you see the car is going up and down it's not okay why because the let me show you the object car body the weight of that is not a lot so let's just change it to 10 so the torque of our motor won't affect it that much and you now you can see the weight of the car is too much now so we should play with our density and all the variables let's just put it at five and you can see it go down and up it has suspension built into it okay so that's why it, it's doing this thing and our car is no working we can change the speed we can change the torque we can do a lot with it this this was one way to do it the easiest way to do our car in game maker right but i did explain to you how you can create it from scratch to not have all of these problems and all of them in my is in my playlist in my youtube channel that is all about physics in game maker if you want to have more complex car just watch my playlist it's my honor to have you at the end of this video thank you very much for watching if you want to help me please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching bye